The greenhouse effect is the process in which absorption and subsequent emission of infrared radiation by atmospheric gases warms the lower atmosphere and planet's surface. The greenhouse effect works in this way. The sun emits light of shorter frequencies than infrared, uh, invisible light, UV rays, etc. etc. And it passes through the clear atmosphere. Most of the radiation is absorbed by the Earth's surface and warms it. Some solar radiation is reflected by the Earth and atmosphere and back into space. This, atmos this radiation that's reflected, absorbed and emitted is emitted in much shorter wavelengths than infrared. The infrared radiation is emitted from the Earth's surface and it moves out into the atmosphere. Now this can do one of two things, it can... Well, the greenhouse gases in the atmosphere absorb this radiation which excites the bond and emits infrared again in a multitude of directions. This has the effect of warming the Earth's surface and lower atmosphere. Now how this works is that these greenhouse gases consist of, of molecules with bonds. This is carbon dioxide. And when it absorbs infrared radiation, the bond vibrates. So it's absorbed with infrared radiation and it's vibrating this way. Now. This means that the infrared radiation can be re-emitted, which heats the atmosphere and Earth's so. Carbon dioxide is produced in volcanic eruptions, respiration of animals, burning or decay of organic matter, such as plants and burning of fuels containing carbon. Methane is produced um, in, during the production of coal, natural gas and oil. It's a product from rotting organic waste in landfill sites, and it's also released from certain animals, especially cows, during digestion. It's also trapped in ice, in structures called clath clathrates, which contain 3,000 times as much methane as is in the atmosphere. If this is released, it will have a massive impact on global warming. Thirdly, water is produced in the evaporation of lakes and oceans. The ability of a gas to cause global warming is measured in its global warming potential. Global warming potential is related to the lifetime of the gas in an atmosphere as well as the ability of the gas to absorb infrared radiation. Some chlorofluorocarbons are 2,500 times more efficient at absorbing infrared radiation than carbon dioxide, but since they're banned, um, their effect is diminishing.